You already know the BC and David Clarence don't make sense. I got to touch on Dwayne Wade's ex basically said that he was aiding and abetting and exploiting his son's transition for monetary gain. Now, me being the father of two daughters and one son, I don't even want, and listen here, I don't even want at my daughter's age to be that age publicly kissing a boy, even having a boyfriend. That's just me. I feel like that to me is like exploitation. That's exposing them to sexual activity and making it seem like you're okay with it. Like you're okay with them exploring their sexuality, especially in the public eye. That is insane. That's obscene. It's very perverted. But they take pleasure in showing the world and showcasing this type of behavior. And a lot of parents, even my son, I don't want my son, if I was on that level of success and fame, I don't even want my son to be taking pictures at that age, holding his girlfriend waist and kissing her like that. That to me, that's still in a way sexually exploiting children. Now, what I am going to say on top of that is it's a difference between being supportive and a lot of people believe that when you know they're making transition especially people in the lgbtq community if they're making the transition they want to make it seem like you're being very supportive and understanding when you're allowing them to explore their sexuality no just like any you gotta if you're going to be across the board that's not supporting number one it's not because you're exploiting sexual behavior by letting them oh let them explore their sexual kids are that they usually be playing sports doing what they got to do that actually got their head on straight i ain't talking about Degenerates. I ain't talking about people that don't have it together coming from broken households and that don't really know how to adorn themselves properly. But this right here is it's like they're using that as a way to say it's OK for them to behave as such because it actually helps them in their transition. That to me is insanity because even a kid at their age shouldn't even be doing such things, exploiting themselves. It's like they're allowing this behavior and things get out of control the more you invest in these things thinking you're being supportive. You should be mentally supporting them, spiritually supporting them, guiding them with discernment for what's really right and not just going based off a feeling or an emotion or something that's temporary in terms of a state of mind because children can't make permanent decisions. They barely know what they want to eat. They barely know what they want to wear. They barely know what they want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's up in the air. But this is what we deal with in today's world, man.